God is focused on your spiritual health, but he also wants us to focus on our physical health. God does not want us to be unhealthy or suffering from disease. The word says in 3 John 1, 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. He wants us to be well in our minds, in our body, and in our spirits. Most of us are incredibly spiritually strong, but we need to glorify God through our physical health as well. The word of the Lord teaches us how we should treat our bodies in a way that God intends. Proverbs 3 verse 1 to 2 says, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commandments in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. This will bring your health and your body nourishment to your bones. God is able to help to guide us to find the nourishment we need to have our bodies thrive. As our creator, he knows what's best for us. When we obey his instructions and his commandments, we are going to be in the best health we can be. Exercise and diet are very important. Neglecting or abusing our bodies can be considered a sin. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20, King James Version says, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. God wants us to treat our bodies with the utmost respect and care. By giving our bodies the proper nourishment, our physical health will increase. A healthy diet helps us to protect against malnutrition in all its forms, as well as non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and cancer. An unhealthy diet and lack of physical activity are the leading global risk to health in today's society. Our energy intake, which are calories, should be balanced with our energy expenditure, which is our exercise. One very important fact for you today is to keep your salt intake less than five grams a day, which helps to prevent hypertension and reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke in adult population. Salt increase can be reduced by limiting the amount of salt and high sodium condiments, example, soy sauce, fish sauce, and bouillon, when cooking and preparing foods, not having high sodium sauces on the table, limiting the consumption of salty snacks, and choosing products with lower sodium content. We also need to increase our water intake, which will be no less than eight eight ounce glasses per day. And remember that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you. Therefore, honor God with your body and stay healthy.